What is going on everybody? This is Brandon from Brickson. So I wanted to show you something I'm going to say new. Um, from a historical perspective, I don't know that this has ever been done before. I get the impression that it has not. Uh, it's very exciting. And uh, I definitely thought it was worth a, a, a video about. So Earlier this summer, earlier this spring, Lego did the uh, designer program, right? Uh, let me see. The Brickling designer program. So, uh, some perspective here. Several years ago, they did the, the crowdfunding Bricklink designer program. And I believe there were three waves. Um, I'm almost positive of it. And essentially what happened was they had let's say 10 sets the first five that got crowdfunded to 3000 would go into production and ultimately be sent out well it was overwhelmingly successful and uh many if not all of the ones that got crowdfunded sold out uh to the point that these are highly collectible at this point most have doubled in value uh i've been lucky enough to buy a few in fact here we've talked about it before there's there's two of them back there uh, there's two of them right there and then i i have actually opened and built two as well so um and i think i have some more but um of the first 15 i think i got two four six at least seven of them maybe well that brings us to the spring so they they decided to do it again. They changed the rules a little bit. Um, more will go into production now than there would be. Uh, but you can also buy two instead of one. So a lot of people are going to end up buying one to have for themselves and one as an opportunity from an investment standpoint. So uh, that being said, let me let me flip the camera around so I can kind of describe what I'm about to describe a little further. All right, so here we go. If you go to Bricklink, oops, and then down to Programs, you have the Bricklink Designer Program, and it'll it'll you know tell you through here series one, two, three. We're in the middle of. Uh, uh series three right now oh there you go you have one day and three hours to get your design in so uh if you're thinking about this you better hurry here's the finalists for series two here's this finalist for season or series one uh we're not we're not here to talk about all that those are cool but here is the part that I think is awesome. Okay, so if you go to program, they now have this mock pop-up star. Mock being my own creation, right? We've talked about that before. Animal or alphabet soup. Uh, so these essentially were designs for the Bricklink Designer Program that did not get selected so what you can do this is so cool so here we'll use the medieval stone maces guild this was one that i really really enjoyed um something i just find uh so well done so out of the box so essentially if you click on this okay we're not going to take a survey right now thank you anyways all right so uh all right, so essentially for $8, you can purchase the instructions and the parts. If you wanted to buy the parts, it would be so anywhere from $152.31 to $186.80. So now I'm blessed. You know, I have many a pieces here that I can uh, go get, but I probably won't have all of them. Um, so essentially what you can do, you go purchase and... Uh, log in. Alright, so how to purchase from the mock pop-up store. The checkout process is a bit different than your usual Bricklink purchase. Let's take a look. Next. So, choose your stores. To bring, to bring this beautiful design to life, we'll do the heavy lifting and find a combination of stores that carry all the pieces you'll need to build this design. 
Your options will include a combination of Brickling stores and Lego Pick-A-Brick to find you the best deals possible. You can also modify the lots in your car after choosing your stores. Step 2. Checkout. We'll add the elements from the stores you've picked in the digital building instructions to your car so you can check out. Make sure you finish checking out with all your carts to get everything you need to build your design. Due to popularity of these parts, we recommend purchasing items in your carts as soon as possible to avoid store or price changes. There is a possibility for parts to go out of stock. Any carts made with pick a brick will be completed on Lego.com. And you're done. Sit back, relax while we wait for all your parts to arrive. Alright, so press continue. Alright, so here you go. So the Medieval Stone Maces Guild. We have 274 unique parts and 1614 parts. These are my four options of being able to get the pieces. So pick a brick. So it would cost me $139 for so many pieces and the shipping would be free because it's coming from Lego, right? And then there's two stores in the U.S. that would be able to fill my orders for the rest of it. Well, then, so that would cost me $198. Now, if I wanted to go the lowest possible price, we can get some things from the Czech Republic and various other stores, including... Uh, all brick buffet uh, we could get those same parts from the US and that actually is on 3 out of the 4 so then here's the fewest stores and here's if we only go domestic now I'm not going to purchase this at this time but I just wanted you to see what actually happens so you add the carts and as you can see, I have six carts open. I think those are partly from yesterday's uh, same attempt at this. So here you go. This is what I did yesterday. I only wanted the instructions. I will worry about the pieces myself because I'm going to have the majority of them. Uh, oops. Come on. Come on, computer. All right. And then buy a portions of your... Uh, pieces from these guys and then Lego pick a brick and ultimately do a little happy dance when your parts arrive so I just I love this so let's go back to this there are some fascinating uh, fascinating sets that are in here uh, so there was a stone maces guild I'm just going to go over some of the ones I really love. And you guys know I'm a big modular fan. Uh, the Winter Fish and Supply. I think that's really cute. Um, there's an arcade. This is probably one of my favorites. The Ant Farm. Or the Retro Ant Habitat. Uh, the City Library. The Brachiosaurus. Uh, there's a lot of uh, these type of sets from like the Middle Ages or Pirate. Um, here's a skate park. So this is the one that I actually bought yesterday. I have had high praise on this set. Uh, Ming Brick. So good. You, I was so happy to buy these instructions. It's probably my favorite out of the designer programs and I'm so glad that I get to put it in my city so uh, corner ice cream parlor uh, I actually I love the giant tiger prawn it it's warmed up on me so excuse me guys uh, a space museum so like that one there that's gonna be some significant dollars to complete but i would imagine there's some expensive pieces in there uh the grand public library the lost temple which i just think is uh very colorful and uh a fun build a black biplane a working mini golf course uh the boogie boombox uh the apollo motel So you can see, guys, there is a wide range of sets. Uh, 
possible that you could uh, buy the instructions and or, and or the pieces for. I definitely advise you to take a look at this. Holy smokes. The secrets of the Japanese castle are anywhere between 468 and the, just over $1,000. I am not going to buy all of these. I will buy this one for now. Probably the M farm. And we'll just see what I do from here. But uh, hopefully this is not the first go of this. Hopefully they make this a habit with these uh, these sets that did not get picked. So it's a great way for us as fans to support fellow AFOLs uh, and designers. Uh, it's a great way for me to expand my city with some things that... You know, not everybody's going to have, but are extremely well done and not of my own design. Uh, so this is exciting. I'm happy about this. I hope you are happy about this. And until then, until I have something new to say, which I do, I promise. I will see you next time, my friends.